Hi everybody. So, welcome back to my channel. First off, uh, I want to say that a few months ago, um, I told you guys that I would take part in something called Life in a Day 2020, and the resulting film is about to premiere on YouTube um, about less than 24 hours um, as of the time I'm filming this clip. Um, the next clip will be after the premiere when it ends. And then, let me tell you guys something. Um, yeah, let me bring the mic closer because there we go. So, in case you guys need to be brought up to speed, um, Life in a Day is a little mini documentary. It's a sequel to a film released 10 years ago. And I told everybody that if I did make it into the film, I would make a celebratory TikTok dance. And if I didn't, I would drop the entire submission reel onto this channel. I'm actually prepared for both situations. But at this point, it's just more of a wait and see type of thing. It's going to be an early morning for me, so... I'll see you guys when the premiere ends for the final verdict on this matter. Until tomorrow. Alright, it is the next day now. I gotta keep it quiet because my neighbors are still sleeping, but uh, I gotta keep it quiet. So, um,. And just have to say that it is now the next morning at about uh, 9 a.m. So um, it's going to be about 90 minutes before I can get back to you with the final verdict and results. So um, we'll see you guys then. <laughs> Can't wait to see what the result is. So I'm watching the premiere right now and, um, and I'll get back to you when it, it ends. See you then. Alright everybody, so the premiere um, ended about a few minutes ago. And I can now tell you the end results. And it was that I did not make it into the resulting film. And I said that if I did not make it into the film, I would release the entire submission reel I did for the film and I think you can already tell by the title of this video by now um, and that is indeed I'm going to be releasing the um, submission reel and that is going to follow this clip. Um, I think I'll be able to point out some of the reasons that may have led to this decision. Um, some are quite noticeable audio wise but others <laughs> I have no idea. So, uh, with that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and get into this thing and point out some other things too. So, think of this as more like deleted scenes. So, uh, with that said, um, let's, let's do it. And before I begin, I just set, realized that I've received a notice from the producers as soon as the premiere ended and they do jokingly said that see you in 2030 <laughs> i found that funny but um anyways because i was rejected um here is the submission reel in its entirety call this deleted scenes if you want to the following is a submission reel for the film Life in a Day 2020, starring us, the vlogging community. Alright everybody, so, um, there's probably a bit of wind in there that probably picked up and think that was one of the primary reasons I got cut. Alright, it took me forever to find a quiet and suitable space to tape this submission reel, but I am in a very special location and there's not a lot of viewers that do this.
Anyways, let me go over a couple of questions. And I'll be answering them as this film progresses. And let's just say that um, the questions that are recurring within the final film are answered somewhere in this reel. Let's get it going. But first, a little background. First off, the coronavirus pandemic is very real and is ever-changing every day. In this part of the world, we're still required to have face masks. Even as some places have opened up and others stay shuttered, whatever is left, pretty much all the recreation areas and outdoor patios. I can also say this, but many new type of mask trends are also including cloth masks, which is kind of like the one I'm wearing. We obviously don't know when this pandemic will even come to a containment, but hopefully by the start of 2021, we'll have a vaccine that should probably be approved by then. We did have a vaccine approved and we're in the early stages of rollout. And then we can finally see some signs of containment. So without further ado, let's go do a Q&A. And for additional information in regards to COVID, just consult your local public health authority, please. All right, then. So, here are some answers to a couple of questions that I'm going to go through right now. First is, what do I love? Well, first off, I have a passion for video creation. And when I say passion for video creation, I really mean it. And I've had a YouTube channel since about 2017 and started uh, started programming the channel the following year. And I believe I have, uh, I haven't been keeping track of how many videos I have, about 90-ish at least. But uh, hopefully I want to get to 100 soon. PSA already passed 100 and didn't notice it. But I also love traveling. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, means I can't even go even outside of California. It's true. Really, it's true. Yeah. I know some people might be saying, please tell me you're joking. I'm not. This is, this is what the pandemic has, has forced us on to. I hope to travel again one day when this whole thing's over. But anyways, now the next one, what I fear. Well, first I have FOMO. I don't know what FOMO means. I just looked this up. It's fear of missing out. And yes, if I'm talking about the pretty much concert tour from last year, um, then I'm, you kind of know what I'm getting to. I can I can tell you, and I regret doing this, but I regret missing out on dozens of events. But trust me, when this whole pandemic is over, I'm going to have a big bucket list. Like going to music festivals, going on a cruise, and maybe start financially planning for the future. Now, what do we want to change? Well, first, um, the availability and approval of a vaccine, hopefully by January of 2021, if not by March. Because right now the 2021 variations of various festivals and events are now a big question mark themselves. Obviously with the Tokyo Olympics being postponed to 2021, as well as various concerts and other music festivals getting canceled, I mean really. And I wish I should have known about this sooner. Really. 
All right, that brings me on to the final question. That is, does anybody want to know what I have in my pocket? I mean, really. I mean, what if it has something sensitive in it? That's why I didn't answer that one. I mean, don't we want to keep some of this to ourselves? <sighs> well, I'm going to put this straight, but as Natasha Bedingfield once said, I've got a pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> I mean, really. And I think that was all the questions we have. Yep, those are all the questions. Well then. Well, today happens to be the 25th of July. And... Well, the whole intent of this documentary that is due to be released in 2021 is to capture all of our lives in a single day. It's like a time capsule of 2020. Ten years ago, more than 10,000 creators from around the world came together and piled over 80,000 clips to create Life in a Day 2010. I was actually 10 at the time, so I was unable to participate. But now here we are 20 years later, especially as a new breed of creators on YouTube are especially rising to prominence. I think, like, for some, this is their chance. And others, well, I don't have much to say about that. But I'm guessing with that, this kind of wraps up life in a day, at least in beautiful San Diego. And I leave you off with a panoramic view of the gorgeous skyline as seen from the Broadway Pier, which is the old, which is pretty much one of a few very unique concepts where pretty much half of it can be used for active recreation, assuming there are no cruise ships docked at this pier, which is the case for today. And that brings me to my final thought. With all global operations of cruises suspended until at least the end of the year, it's kind of sad to see how many cruise ships would actually be retired without a formal decommissioning ceremony. With that said, we hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy life in today. While I am walking down here while there's nobody else in sight, let me tell you guys something else about the economical impacts that Southern California has had on the coronavirus. Well, let's just say dozens, if not thousands, of office jobs have been either furloughed or even laid off. Or many people are working from home. I mean, I'm assuming Fifth Harmony predicted the coronavirus pandemic with their track work from home like four years ago. But anyways, we can see some sort of telecommuting actually becoming more of a new normal from this point forward. I'm not gonna lie. But for others, I mean, what's gonna happen with Metrolink, our commuter train system, or even some of the other train services? Would they have to have some of their coaches shortened? Would they be formed of less coaches than there were before the pandemic? Well, that probably isn't the case, because just this last fall, they announced SCORE, a capital improvement project that will bring numerous of improvements to all the corridors, as well as increased capacity and time for the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics and Paralympics. And hopefully the virus gets contained definitely before this massive event because I honestly do not want 
to see all the future Olympic games of the 2020s head down into waste. Ugh. And here's that skyline close up as I keep walking towards it. It is lovely. But that leads me to what else I want to see change is the availability of affordable housing. Because right now, per purchasing rates are skyrocketing. I mean, some of these waterfront condos are now in the millions, much like a mansion or something. I mean, you can easily see along the coastlines those million dollar beach houses. If anyone ever comes to California, you'll kind of see how we have those upscale million dollar beach houses on the coastline and then the prices actually get a little more lower and somewhat affordable as you continue inland. Now, outdoor operations of restaurants are very real and there's so many patios. I can't show you some of these patios for various broadcasting reasons, but what I want to leave you out is that there are a bunch of patios that offer beautiful waterfront views and I'm pleased to tell you that our new Portside Pier Complex has finally opened. Oh, I actually forgot to mention this, but... Hold on. Did I actually forgot to mention the 2026 FIFA World Cup? I mean... That's one of the things I've kind of started worrying about is the probability of World Cups getting pushed back because of this pandemic. For that, we may never know. And now, we present Portside Pier. Well, here it is, Portside Pier. The brand new development now officially open. Plenty of outdoor seating and so many primo views of the water. This has been totally four to five years in the making. And I'm super glad that it is all finished. However, because of this pandemic, it is currently in a limited capacity to pretty much all the patio seating. The indoor seating is still off limits over here. Again, that is to limit the spread of the coronavirus. And they've had to close down bars once again. Let me get over this tent first and then we will get you a little close up and that will pretty much wrap up life in a day for you guys. And with that, that sums it for me. So, we say goodbye. Adios from San Diego. The preceding was a submission reel for Life in a Day 2020, a documentary starring all of us, the vlogging community. Thanks for watching. Well, that's going to do it for the end of today's video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next year. There's more videos coming. And with that said, um, thanks for watching.